Caroline decided to give them a new look, everyone would be happy. But no, you'd be reckoning without one of the top names in Australian fashion. We're looking for our, our girls and boys to have an international look. Trent Nathan. For him, the way the flying kangaroo kits out its cabin crew is boring and unstylish. I'm in the air and, and looking at these kids and, and I'm thinking, oh dear me, and then I get on Alitalia and there's the girls in Amani and then I go on to the American Airlines and there they are in Ralph Lauren and then of course I'm dying to come home, get on to Qantas again and there they are looking like band leaders and yeah, I get disappointed. Just one colorway per time. Give them two sides. Two sides, yeah. Qantas last changed its uniforms back in 1987. Trent Nathan says it should have gone for his design. Instead, Qantas went overseas to the French fashion house Yves Saint Laurent. Do you think they look a bit dowdy? Dowdy, yes. A bit of a trick, you know. A little bit suburban. It wasn't international. Yes, I mean... No, they, they didn't get it, and I'm frightened they're not going to get it this time. This time, because Qantas is marking the merger with the Australian airline by again changing the uniforms. So, out with the French design. In its place, an all-new, all-Australian look chosen by a Qantas committee. We place a lot of emphasis on the way our staff look. Baruta Hamill, manager of uniforms and standards at Qantas. We're ready to, uh, to go. We have invited 20 well-known Australian designers to, uh, as an expression of interest to let us know whether they would be happy in designing a new Qantas uniform. With respect to all, I don't believe that there is 20 people in this country that could actually handle the job. Trent Nathan's general manager, Shane Barr. It's not a personal vendetta or it's not one man or two men or one company saying, hey, we should get it or, you know, what about us? It's a matter of, I think, we're coming out and saying, hang on a second, this is a very important thing for Australia and we don't believe it's being done properly. In every detail, we'll strive for service that's second to none. That means, he says, Qantas stewardesses still not matching up to the foreign competition in the flight deck fashion stakes. It's the way we make you feel that makes people fly in British Airways. How important is it that the Qantas staff look right? Very, very important. Very important. They're our ambassador in, in, in any hotel lobby overseas. And many a time I've been in the lobby and in, our team have come in and I've said, oh my God, you know, I'll say hello to them later when they've checked in. For some stewardesses, any change would be welcome. Um, well, it stands okay. out. <laughs> it's very, very different right. compared to a lot of other ones. Yeah. I don't like this mm. shirt. Mm. Uh, None. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't really enjoy it. But we hope you get something nice. Yeah. According to Shane Barr, that's not likely. This time, the Trent Nathan Company won't enter the competition. At first, Qantas didn't ask them. And when they did, eventually send an entry form. And the questions included... Um Please list any uh, industry awards that the company perhaps has won. Uh, please list the uh, calibre of people that we do business with. And uh, I really think after 30 years in the industry, um, A, we didn't have a truck big enough to get the awards and news clippings to them. And I really thought it was an insult to the company for us to be treated like this. Qantas also insists that to cut costs, it will decide who makes the uniforms. For Trent Nathan, no major fashion company would allow their designs to be made this way. There is no way that we will take the, um, a designer's design and reproduce it in a cheap and nasty way. It will be the highest quality fabric, which we give now, and it will have the highest level of manufacture. What do you think this is a case of? Maybe a little sour grapes, or maybe having a memory. Some things probably should be best forgotten. Well, why, why sour grapes? We're doing very well. We're here saying that 9,000 representatives of Australia should look first class. We're scared they're not going to look like that, and we're willing to talk about it and try and bring it out so that the thing gets done properly. Jack.